Once we have a Kubernetes cluster with Helm available, we can finally install the Web Application Firewall, or WAF for short. You can select whether you want to enable or disable the WAF during installation, and if you choose to enable, you can also select between logging mode and blocking mode. I'm going to leave it enable in logging log mode, and I'm going to click install. Behind the scenes, Helm is installing mod security and deploying the OWASP core rule, rule set. You can find the link to the rules in the video description. Once the WAF is installed, you should be able to see some ingress services in the Google Cloud Platform Console. Now that WAF is installed, let's have a look at the logs to see if anything is coming up yet. I'm piping the output of the logs to JQ for better readability. We can see that we've received a couple of events from Mod Security. These particular requests were not blocked since the WAF is operating in logging mode only. Now I'm going to change the WAF mode from logging to blocking. Once the change is complete, we can go to the console and test a few requests. First, I'm going to start the login again. Second, I'm going to make a harmless request. This is the URL to the application. And you can see that once I request it, I get a normal response from the server. Now let's change our request to something potentially dangerous, like a script embedded in the query string. Once I make this request, I can see that it was forbidden. And if I go to the logs, I can see the reason why this request was denied. This was a very basic demonstration of the WAF capabilities with the default OWASP core rule set. I recommend you check out the coreruleset.org website and also the remaining of the GitLab WAF documentation. It has useful information such as how to enable charts for anomalous traffic.